The Expendable franchise has more or less been like an action film on steroids for me. I mean, it's the epitome of action stars coming together. They're there, Arnold Schwarzenegger, to Jet Li, to Sylvester Stallone, Jason Statham, all action stars from different generations. But Expendables 4 kind of feels more like an action film on Xanax than the first couple of films feels like a watered down version of the Expendables. I mean, para sa akin, it's not the same compared to the other films in the franchise. Now, admittedly, admittedly, the other films aren't all that great as well. They aren't all that grand. They're not the best when it comes to action films. Yun nga, if you're just into all of the like steroids, hype, all of the action stars being there, but you're not really keen on a good plot, a good story, then yeah, Expendables is the film franchise for you. But, and this is the trend for a lot of franchises this year, from The Equalizer to The Nun. These are franchises that have been there, but then these new parts or sequels to these films felt like they were a last ditch effort like hindi naman talaga siya pinag-isipan hindi naman talaga siya planado it feels like that from the marketing bigla na lang may sumulpot na nun bigla na lang may sumulpot na Expendables movie like there wasn't a big hype to it feels like they were in a meeting creatives and they were like okay so we've had a good run with the Expendables I mean May ginagawa ba sila Sylvester Stallone? Wala, oh, then let's bring him in for an Expendables movie. How about Jason Statham? He's good? Okay, bring him in. Who else do we have? Jet Li? Jet Li's not available. How about Antonio Banderas? Mal Gibson? No, none. Whoever's there, just get 50 Cent! 50 Cent is available? Bring him in. It feels like that. It feels like they were in a discussion of who's available and who's not. The casting wasn't all that great. There's nothing at all to make it interesting. Again, it feels like a watered-down version of the past few Expendables films. It feels like the bottom of the litter, but, but the saving grace here is Jason Statham. Now, I did a film review of his last movie, which wasn't that positive, and I feel like, is he the curse here? Because this isn't all that positive as well. And I hate making film reviews like this, but they exist. Films that don't perform really well exist. And it just so happens it's another Jason Statham movie, but in all fairness to the guy, this film was made for Statham. This film was saved by Statham. This is a film that, because of his acting, because of him being the star for the most part here, was actually pretty okay of a ride. You get that grittiness that I like from the Transporter films. You get that grittiness from the first Meg film and you get that here. Although it wasn't a great story, he used the cards well, okay, that he was dealt with. That's pretty much it. And it was a pretty okay job. I mean, it was a pretty good, um, performance because it shines as well when you compare it to everyone else everyone else was bland everyone else was just in the background nothing you know was really working well on that side and therefore like shiny state film because of that as well now one of the biggest things i didn't like about this film i have to talk about it is the visuals a story that's very familiar very like i've seen a thousand of a, th a thousand times and then you put in visuals that is so like how did this even happen? Like, paano nila ginawa ang movie na gantong kapangit yung visuals? The fact that this is the fourth Expendables film, you would have suspected at least maganda yung visual effects, yung special effects, practical action sequences. The action sequences, the fight sequences were actually pretty good in terms of the choreography, but the explosions, the different settings, it was obvious green screen guys doon ako na asar i mean it was so ugly it was so like zoom levels that it was unbearable to watch because the question on my mind like i mentioned is how was this able to pass given this is the fourth film in the franchise so everything when you combine it together was just lousy i think that's the word i would use to describe expendables 4 it's a lousy film made by people who just felt like we have to make a film like this for the money we have a bit of a budget let's go on with it and this is what you get even the story like i mentioned 
is just a copy paste of millions of stories we've seen before and they try their hand at something surprising at the plot twist that just didn't work by the time you get to that plot twist you're uninterested and that's what i felt with expendables 4 which i give a score of two out of ten it's just not worth your time guys you gotta skip this one that is my most humble opinion about this movie there's more that you can watch besides this and for those films the more that i'm talking about tune in here at a vlogs ganana segue no for more movie reviews more tv show reviews as well and anything in pop culture and lifestyle so don't forget to make every day into an adventure see you guys on my next one